Hello, welcome to Kate's Egg. Hi, and welcome to Denmark. My name is Marianne Hestbjerg, and uh, I live here on the farm together with my husband, and we have an organic pig production. So, that is amazing. Thank you, and it's nice to have you here. We don't have many visitors from the States. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, it's a pleasure. Yeah. And could you tell me a little bit about your operation? Yes, we have this organic pigs, and we have 1,500 sows. I guess we are among the biggest organic pig producers in the world. And uh, we have 30 employees to take care of the pigs and our pigs are outdoor on free range pigs. And they're very happy pigs. I hope they are. You know, we say if you are, if you die and you get reborn as a pig, then you should wish to come to us. I definitely <laughs> would. <laughs> So the story goes back to 1634. It's a long story. Now we are organic pig producers and it means a lot to us to make a good life for the pigs. We want to make a life where the pigs can use their instincts and do what's nice to do when you are a pig. I want to show you something. If you turn around, you can actually see that the sow is laying down and the piglets are drinking milk. Yes. And you know, when they are walking around like these, they can decide what they want to do and lay down if they feel like it. It's not like if you're indoor, it's a totally different system. The sow have this area, you see the small fence? Yes. And each sow have a hut and, and this where you feed them. You know, so they can't go together? No, but the small pigs, they can run wherever they want. So we say they go in kindergarten together with the others. <laughs> so they just run over under the fence. And this is the sea system. Every day we open this one, put feed. Our brand is the bubble trees. This looks much nicer, but this takes so many years for these to grow. So that's the reason we have poplar trees, is because they grow very fast. And after four or five years, <laughs> the sows can go in there. Oh, wow. On this farm, we have 1,500 sows. We have uh, the sows on uh, eight different farms and um, it's organic and uh, we have 30 employees to take care of the sows and then the sows, this type of sows we have here are very good at taking care of the piglets. So she is doing a very good job taking care of the piglets and we take care of everything around her by the feeding and everything and the uh, indoor pigs, uh, they're the people who work there spend a lot of time taking care of the piglets to make them survive and take care of them. But we don't do that. She is the mother. She is the one who knows exactly how to take care of the piglets. And this topic, North Stream, that we have is very good at this. It could be much easier if you have a big tractor with a computer and that could feed the sows. But we do it by hand. If we feed them by hand, have trust in us. This is a modern scarecrow. It makes a lot of noise. It's, there's a small computer inside of it. So we call it the scary man. On our farm, we have a lot of visitors. We have a lot of guided tools with school kids and also other farmers and people who is educating to become farmers and other companies. And also a lot of people coming from abroad because we have this special system. He's a little tired today though. I'm not sure he will wow. stand up. And it's solar pa panel operated? Yes, it is. Oh, you cannot, it's inside here. If you look in there. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, because, you know, we want to keep the birds away so they don't eat the feed. She used to live in the forest and we want to make a pig produ production that's where the pigs are living almost as if they were living. That is amazing. Yeah, because we want to make a life for the pigs so they can use their instincts and they love to be in the forest. So if we have a look in here, you can see the pigs are running around. In Denmark, we take very good care of the drinking water, <laughs> so we want to make sure that it's not running down into the water. Also, I want to show you something in here. It's because when it's hot, you know the sows, the pigs, they cannot sweat. So we have this water system, so when it's more than 15 degrees, the water comes out of this pipe, and then there's a little mud hole, and the pigs love this because they love to lay down in the mud and the skin gets very dirty. So the water cools down the, the pigs, the mud makes sunscreen and the 
pigs just love it. Now you can see these guys down here. Aww. You can actually see the sow, she's a little dirty. Now I'll tell her to lie down. Please lie down, please lie down. No, it's not working because they don't speak English. <laughs> but they enjoy being here in the shed and they also feel safe in here. It's a very nice environment you have for your pigs. Yeah, you know, as I told you, it takes a lot of time to take care of the pigs this way. In our systems, it's most, much more fast. We wean the pigs, they're 10 weeks old, they're very strong and the stomach is strong, so they don't need medication. It's a, a very nice way to do it. Look at her, you can really see the mud. And something special about these pigs is that they have 16 tits and they are very good mothers and they produce a lot of milk. Hi Mia, can you say good day to our guest from USA? I tell her to say hello to you. Oh, hello. <laughs> they love the mud, they really enjoy to lay down in the mud and get the all dirty. Each sow have this small chip in the ear and uh, we registrate everything about the sow. We registrate if she's a good mother, we registrate how many piglets she have and so how many piglets she wean and so we can always compare the farms to each other. So if something is going really well on this farm, we can we know it because we have everything in our system and then we can use it on the other farms. Every day we try to improve to do it just a little better. And that's so the best way to do it. Yeah. How many years of production would you say each pig will have? Around four years. Now say look, they're saying hello to each other. You know, something special about the organic pigs is that we are not allowed to cut off the, the tail. All our pigs have long tails and that means that you have to give them a really good life or else they start. <laughs> now they got scared of something. You never know what will scare them. All our pigs have long tails and that means that you can see if the pigs are happy. And when they have long tails you really have to so you're sure that they have a good life or else they start biting each other's tail. So the tail shows up. Put so much care and thought into the pig's life and how the pig feels. Yes. Adorable. This is one of my best friends. Aww. <laughs> Here you can actually see that she has mud on the skin. Does she have a name? No. But she's number 58. <laughs> <laughs> we don't give them names. We have 1,500 cows. But we know exactly how she's doing because in the ear she has this small chip. So we registered everything on the computer. Little piglet ran away. Yeah. This is grain for the, the piglets. You know, we have the piglets, they get the feed in these big feed troughs here. And the sows get in the small ones. How often do your pigs get fed per day? Uh, the sows get fed one time a day and then we check that she's feeling okay. We check that she's walking on all legs and she's eating all the feed. So we hand feed them and that's a good way to look if she's doing fine. I think around three or four times a week they fill up this trough of piglets. So the, the piglets can eat all the feed they want to run in front of them. Aww. <laughs> I think what's so amazing is that you do a lot with biodiversity and are really working towards maintaining a sustainable farm, which is just remarkable. Yeah, it means a lot that we take care of the pigs, we take care of our employees, but we also take care, care of the nature around us so that we want to be a sustainable farm. So one example is that when you look at the big fields, there used to be a lot of, more, a lot of trees, there used to be small small lakes and water holes and now we want to bring it back to the original state that is very very neat and i think that all of us have a certain responsibility to take care of the environment around us we all have to take responsibility that we don't buy so much much stuff that we drive a little less that we everyone make an effort so that we can do something about the climate changes and take care of our planet. Yes, I couldn't agree more. And that was very well said. We have pigs. And you want to be humane to the pigs. Exactly. And kind and treat them like a living creature. Exactly. You know, they are very intelligent, these pigs. And they want to have fun, they want to play. And 
the so we should make a living for them where so it's possible for them to yeah. have a joyful life and i can imagine they're very thankful for you for doing that so, i think so at least they look happy and every day when you work with this face it makes you smile yeah look at them they run around and they are happy they are having a, a good time hello the thing that's important to us is that we, we take a social response so all the time we have uh, young people or old people who have had stress or something that some people have difficulties going to school or to work or something and they come and work on our farm. It means a lot to us. It, it's, it's nice to see that if you give people a chance that they grow and then they become really good at taking care of the pigs. I think that, that the pigs do something special to people if they are feeling a little sad or have had some difficulties in their lives. So. Yes, animals are very much like that and it's so kind of you to do that for people. Yeah. And also, the young man I just waved at is in an agriculture program and um, is an intern here, which is very cool that you give young people the opportunity to get a start in the industry that um, they are very passionate about. Exactly. You know, it's, if you don't tell a story about the farming, then no young people would ever dream of going to work on a farm. But we have many visitors, and that means that a lot of people want to work on, on our farm because we tell the story. Yes. We have a certain responsibility to tell about how we, we farm and how we are producing the meat and the feed and everything. Now we are standing in front of a traditional Danish farmhouse. They, had did, have, they have done a lot of things to the house to make it more modern. But then we found an old photo and we could see, oh, the, the house used to have chimneys. The house used to have red roof. So we put everything back into how it used to be. So now it's almost like looking as when it was built. And of course we kept all the bricks and all the old things in the house. That's great. Well, thank you very much. This is such a wonderful story. Thank you, you're welcome. Um, what does it stand for? The name of the farm, Hestbjerg. Yeah, so this is, he was called Jens, the, the man who built this, or the man who had the farm at this time. And then the next generation was called Bertel, and then Jens again. So this is J.H. And it's very old, you can see this part was built around 1834. And each part is built in a, a certain year. And you can see that in the stone. That's so, really neat. Yeah. Where would the original farmhouse have been built 15 generations ago? Yes. Uh, if you look down there, it used to be down there, and so they moved it up here. Your pigs are so adorable. She's really taking a shower. You guys, you look really handsome. <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> Two pretty girls. Now I've been with the pig. That's what happened when you get really close yeah. to a pig. And that was so much fun too. I wouldn't have it any other way. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you learned a little bit more about organic pig production in Denmark and about agroforest, which is just amazing. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about this incredible operation, you can visit. Yeah, you can go visit our homepage and you can also visit us on Facebook and Instagram. And what is your homepage of your website? It's the hespia.dk. Okay. So it's our family name, .dk. We will write it underneath. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Okay, bye. Farewell.